In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to take your Series 1 with a non-heated bed to a heated bed in five easy steps. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unplug the machine and disconnect it from any power source. Okay, so the first step in this process is removing your glass bed. So what you want to do is you want to press down on the outsides and pull forward and then you'll notice that the screws go into the big holes up on top and just lift it off. Once you do that, you can throw it in the trash because you're never going to use it anymore. Okay, so step two is gonna be removing this white E-tray here. It's got four screws on the outside, so just remove all those and lift it off. And we're also just gonna put that to the side with your old heated bed. All right, next, what you're gonna do is you're going to Grab your wiring assembly, and this is step three, install the wiring. So you can just set the big box inside the printer for now with the black and red wires facing the front of the machine. You can just set it in there and it shouldn't be a problem. So what you want to do is you want to take the little box, set it inside the heat tray next to the fan with the red and black wires facing the front of the machine. So once you get that in there, you're going to look for the L, N, and the voltage line marks there. So what you got here is you have a blue and a brown wire. So what you want to do is you want to just loosen up the screw terminals that have the blue and the brown and insert the blue wire with the blue wire right on top of the other wire. And then tighten those up. You may have to fidget with it a little bit, but it's not too hard and then just tighten those back down. Nice and tight, make sure that they're nice and tight. Okay, so now the wires we have left are this black and white one here and this pair of red and black that we have here. Okay, so let's start with the black and the white. So if, you, so if you look here, we put the black and the white on the two pins on this front row here, closest to the USB. Okay. So what we're going to do next is do the red and black pair. So if you can see this orange and black pair here, follow those. Let's go to the first screw terminal here. If we count pairs of screws here, we have two, four, six. So number five and number six are where these go. These red and black wires go there. So make sure you put them inside the right corresponding holes, uh, negative to negative and positive to positive. The minus sign is the negative and the positive sign is the positive or the red wire. Okay, install those. Okay, give them a nice little tug, make sure that they're not coming out here. Okay, and that's it for that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this USB cord here all the way over to here to where the, it's plugged into the blue USB hub and we are going to unplug it. Once you have that unplugged, plug it directly into your computer and we will upload the firmware to the printer. At this point in time, you can Turn your printer on. Okay, so once you have your printer turned on and it plugged into your computer, the Rumba plugged into your computer, what you're going to want to do is come to 3D Customs website, go all the way to the bottom, scroll to the bottom, come to where it says downloads right here, click the downloads. This is going to bring you to a page where all the firmwares are. So we want to go to either if we have just the heated bed or even if we have a auto leveling probe that we're adding a heated bed to. Uh, make sure you select the right one here. For this one we're just going to go to the heated bed. 
so you can see we've already downloaded it okay then open up a new tab type in Arduino CC we're gonna download the Arduino IDE so you want to go come up here to software go to downloads then we're gonna come down here to where it says download the RDE IDE we're gonna download this IDE and for me it's gonna be the max so we're gonna download that see I've already done that um, so what you want to do next is unzip your heated bed zip that we downloaded that has the firmware inside it once you unzip it open up the Arduino IDE should look something very similar to this we're gonna go file open go into your Marlin folder inside of the downloaded folder scroll to the bottom go to marlin.ino double click that open that and that should bring up another dialog box which should look something very similar to this so what we are going to do now is we're gonna go up to tools in the IDE we're gonna to go to board make sure our Arduino Mega 2560 is selected make sure that the AT2560 is our processor and then what we're gonna do is select the port that the Rumba comes on to so in this case it's a USB modem 14111 make sure that is selected and then all you have to do is click the upload button you'll see that it'll start compiling the sketch here and then what will happen is it'll start uploading and once it's done uploading it'll say done uploading here on your screen now that it's done uploading what you can do is take the USB out of your computer plug it back into the USB hub inside the machine and you should be good to go I would suggest restarting your printer once just so that way everything reconnects and turns back on fully. So what we want to do now is grab our new e-tray cover that we have that has a hole in it now and what you want to do is you want to grab the other end of your wire here, take the nut off, put it through the hole, okay hold it with your hand on the bottom and the nut on here, screw that on. And that's it. So the next step is going to be putting your heated bed on. So what you want to do is take the take the wire, stick it through the back, through the back back here. Let that fall down. Put your new bed on the screws so they fall into the big holes. Press down and push it to the back. And you're plugging this in. Grab the top connector, top part of the connector put it on to the other connector, spin it, and then you'll feel it click in. Once it clicks in, slide down to the bottom one and just tighten it up. And that's it. You're done.